Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Linz again. I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we will talk about the DNS protocol. So let's start. Now, the DNS refers to domain name system. It translates to human readable domain names like www.google.com into a machine readable IP address such as 192.0.2.4 enabling computers to locate and communicate with each other on the internet. This process is like a phone book where names are mapped to specific phone numbers. The DNS system is a hierarchical and distributed database. It ensures the quick provision of information necessary to connect users to remote hosts by managing the relationship between domain names and IP addresses. DNS functions through a client-server model, where DNS servers handle queries from client devices. When a domain name is entered, the DNS server locks up the corresponding IP address and returns it to the client, enabling the connection to desired website. This process is essential for the functioning of the internet as it allows the seamless communication between devices using user-friendly domain names instead of numerical IP addresses. DNS also plays a critical role in email delivery, social media usage, and online gaming by resolving domain names to IP addresses. Without DNS, users would need to remember and manually enter lengthy IP addresses, completing internet navigation. Now, let's see how DNS works. DNS servers Convert URLs and domain names into IP addresses, enabling computers to find and display web pages. This translation process is known as DNS resolution involves several process. So first, a user enters a web address into a browser. Then the browser sends a recursive DNS query to the network. The query reaches a recursive DNS server managed by the ISP. If the server has the address, it returns it to the user, loading the web page. If the recursive server locks the address, it queries the other servers. DNS root name servers, top-level domain TLD servers, and authoritative name servers. These servers redirect the query until a DNS record with the IP address is found and sent back to the recursive server. The recursive server casts the IP address, the record, for future queries. If the authoritative server can't find the address, it returns an error. The entire process is typically completed in a fraction of a second and not decided by the user. DNS servers handle requests from both inside and outside their domains, providing authoritative answers or forwarding queries as needed. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more videos. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions.